Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to my XCOM Enemy Unknown Let's Play that I will be starting today. I have played through XCOM 2, but I've never actually played through XCOM Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within, so I'm going to give it a go here. As it is my first time playing through this game, I will be watching all of the cutscenes because I've not seen them before and I would like to get all the story possible, but with that stated, Let's see what XCOM Enemy Unknown has in store for us. So I will be playing on normal, I think, for players familiar with tactical games, challenging but fair. I don't know anything about XCOM 1, the units uh, that I'll be fighting, what skills our basic units get. Uh, so I think normal would probably be good. An extreme challenge for experienced XCOM players only. Uh, let's go with normal and advanced options let's put on iron man because we are here to play for real <laughs> soldiers only get one life and we will not be using any safe states or anything to go back and make sure people don't die but so iron man will be on we don't need the tutorial though we'll figure it out as we go second wave options damage roulette no Damage light weapons have no. Nope, it's not to that new economy. Funding offered by individual council members is randomized. No, thank you. Rookies will have random starting stats. I do like the idea of our soldiers being kind of independent of each other, um, not all just clones. So that'll be good. And hidden potential as soldiers get promoted, their stats will increase randomly. Yes, let's go with hidden potential as well. We'll have some good ones and some not so good ones. It'll be awesome. All right, those will be the rules that we're playing with, and let's do this. Once again, we'll be watching all the cutscenes, and I will try not to talk during them so that we can enjoy them. If you ignore a UFO contact, it may return later to shoot down your satellite. Unguarded satellites run a high risk of being shot down. Protect them with interceptors. Here we go. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clarke. Ooh, I like that word. Like it. <laughs> Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Awesome. All right, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Let's do this and save the world from the aliens. Where do we want to start? North America gives air and space bonus. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build, and maintain. 
Europe, continent bonus. Expert knowledge, laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. Asia is future combat. All projects in the foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. South America, we have ways. Autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. And Africa, monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. I actually like the bonus money it, as a first time playthrough. I think just having the extra funds will probably be the easiest way to make sure I'm able to afford everything we need. So that's what we're going to go with, with Africa as our starting continent. Let's do it. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, we got Operation Red Heart as our first mission. Mission objective, sweep the abduction site and identify threats and neutralize all hostile targets. Ready to engage, let's do this. Launch mission. Woo. I like the airplane. Strike one, nice. this is so central. Scary. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright, let's do a zoom out. We've got just a bridge. Looks like we're just gonna be going straight across. I think it'll probably be best if we send two people to the left side. And keep a couple people more to the right. Life on Earth. We're witnessing oh, something yeah, never that before Overwatch. seen in recorded history. Oh, what? That's garbage. You hear that? They should have got some shots off. Though. It's too bad. Let's see if they maybe come back. X-ray spotted. Oh no. It's a disaster already. <laughs> Just activate every pod in the game. Alright, first first shot of the game, we got uh Powell up here and let's see what he can do. 60% chance. To see you in hell. Oh yeah. First shot, first kill. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Thank you, Dr. Valen. We will keep that in mind. We'll just keep this person here. I should probably take a look at who our squad is to start, but it probably doesn't matter because I'll probably be changing the names out to some names that my friends have picked and then if you guys want to be part of the the squad you can leave some comments down below and i will take a read through those and rename unnamed characters to post for you so that'd be awesome uh oh Ooh. running the gauntlet good dodge uh oh you can do it nope this one's a hit holy ouch it hurts Let's not lose anybody on the first mission, <laughs> preferably. 50% and 50, 50, 50. Coin toss. Let's go. Oh, come on. Put this person. All right. Can we get there with a grenade? No, I should have thrown a grenade at the other person, but that's okay. Let's see what happens. Full cover. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Nice. 
I'm gonna be super, super sad if we lose somebody on the first mission. I really don't want to. You know what? Let's see if she can get him with her grenade first. She can't get it that close. In case there's a bad guy, I don't want to have the low health girl run the gauntlet. Yeah. I figured he'd be able to take a hit. So now she... Oh, but she can't get close enough. Why are they so... slow? Alright, she's just gonna go for the kill. Yeah, let's do it. He's down. Oh, a nice shot. 35% chance to hit. I don't like it. Let's get up there. Look at all these, like, green bodies on the ground. People have died. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Oh, no! Two injured people. Not good. She needs to move or she is gonna die because that car is gonna explode. This is uh not good. These cars explode real easy. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just be aggressive. Good kill. And you know what? Let's just use the grenade. Has he? Mike's not got a kill. Me? Okay. Doesn't look like anybody in the bottom left has a promotion yet. But we will just. Uh... Whoa, whoa, camera! What's going on here? Yeah, let's do it. Grenade. Make it nice and safe. Hoorah, let's do it. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Alright, so explosives destroy stuff, gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but other than that, two injuries, kinda learning the game, nobody died yet, I think we're gonna call that one a win. Let's see what we get if we get any promotions or not. And then uh, we'll rename a couple characters and probably call for the video, but I'm sure there'll be some tutorial kind of based stuff in different parts of our base and stuff to look at before we get to naming our characters. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Alright, thank you, Bradford. Let's do some promotions. Six days on wounded. Our Maybe snipers okay. specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. All right, so our sniper comes with headshot, fire shot with plus 30% critical chance, and extra damage on critical hits, based on the tech level of the sniper rifle. Two turn cooldown. That's awesome. So as we get kind of further in the game, it'll be a stronger headshot. That's pretty sweet. Uh, and rookie Elizabeth Just like it Rizzo sounds, the support is... class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Is our support class. Alright, then she comes with smoke grenade. To the Play a smoke grenade once per mission. 
the smoke confers plus 20 defense to all units, not just allies, and lasts through the enemy turn. That'll be awesome for keeping our people protected when they are in half cover or if they're like really low on health and we need to make sure they don't get hit. So that's awesome. Support class. The support. assault class serves and as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. The assault class, nice. Comes a run again. I'm assuming this will work the same as in XCOM 2 pretty much just gives them an extra action on their turn so they can move twice and then shoot, which will be super awesome for getting into position, getting some tough to kill enemies, some tough to kill flanks, it'll be good. The recovered artifacts right. are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Got some research and four sectoid corpses, six weapon fragments, nice. Let's do research first. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. All right, Dr. Dallin, let's get some research going. Start a new research project, uh, xenobiology, weapon fragments, or alien materials. Xenobiology. Gain a thorough understanding, alien physiology. Eight days, eight days. And the xenobiology is also eight days. This looks like armor, that'll be weapons. Xenobiology is probably more storyline. Let's get the Xenobiology Commander, going first. I realize our Might troops have to put their own survival awesome first, stuff. but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Alright, let's try and avoid explosives if, if at all possible. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Alright, let's build some stuff. We only have a med kit available right now, so you know what? That'll be very important. Let's make... Ah, uh, we just need one to start. That'll be good. Alright, let's check out our soldiers. So, view soldiers. Uh, I know for sure I have a friend who wanted to be the sniper, our first sniper that we got, so let's change our sniper's first name to Snipe Butt. <laughs> Confirm and last name. There will not be one. Commander Confirm. to Mission Control. Commander to Mission uh, Control. Can we change gender on these characters? Race. It does not appear so doesn't matter though we are gonna just rock the sniper as a female named snipe but commander to mission control commander and i think to snipers control. should be in black armor because i think it looks cool and then the white leggings yeah that looks pretty sweet looks like a cerberus operative from uh, mass effect i like it that's awesome and then uh, did one of my other friends other names picked. Yeah, for our soldier, our assault class. One of my friends uh, thought a cool name would be Commander to Mission class. Control. Commander to Mission Control. Chip Hazard. Uh, if you've seen the movie Small Soldiers, the leader of their little toy. Soldier gang is Major Chip Hazard. Hopefully we can get uh, Chip Hazard up from a squaddy all the way up to a Major. It would be pretty sweet. And then we'll have Major Chip Hazard. Uh, I will go through the editing of the looks kind of in between videos Commander and see if I can make them look a little bit more Commander to mission control. like the character from the movie, but that'd be pretty sweet. Awesome. Mission Control, let's do it and see what's happening. Uh, once again, if there is a name that you would like to see or a character you would like to see in the, this playthrough just let me know in the comment section down below and I will do my best to re-edit the character names and put a character in for you and if you have like specific class you'd like to be 
just let me know in the comment as well and I'll I'll do my best to make that happen. All right, so mission control. Let's see what's happening there. I believe this will be mission control. Maybe not. Mission control. Yep. Yep. So it just wants me to scan for activity and uh, do our next mission. So let's scan and find out what uh, what's up next. You abduction. Commander. We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, so our first real missions that we actually get to pick are Marseille, France, and that'll give us four scientists. Salvador, Brazil is four engineers, and Shanghai, China is 200 credits. I think early in the game, the sooner you can get scientists, probably the better off you are. It'll get the research done quicker and reduce the amount of time to kind of get through the research, which will definitely give us a bonus in the game. So I think what we'll do is set up to do Marseille, France first, and then get our squad together and call them in for the video. So we have Rookie Kasorik, Rookie Fontaine, Squatty Major Chip Hazard, and Rookie Scala. So let's, uh, for starters, I think having him in red armor so he's easy to distinguish would be a good call. And then we will see. Let's say Rookie Fontaine can be our whoops. Can be our medic for for the first time. And we don't have anything else to really edit our guys with, so he can have our med kit and then everyone else will just have frag grenades for now and that'll be our squad for for this mission. So we got Rookie Kisoko, Rookie Fontaine, Squatty Hazard, and Rookie Sokolov. Uh, we're we're going to call this video here and then I'll be posting the next video in the next day or two. Uh, once again, if you'd like to be a part of the squad, leave a comment down below and I will try and work you into the video and keep you alive as long as I can. <laughs> And if you think it'd be fun to follow along, please subscribe and stay to stay notified when I upload new videos. That's all for today, so I will see you in the next video, I guess. Uh, bye!